Hey guys, Kenny Staples in Area 401 back at it again with you guys. And what we're going to go over today is the difference in quality of quote unquote high end pistols compared to similar products that are made by other companies. And nothing against them, but we're going to kind of break into what sets those companies apart in the quality and the issues and reliability that we have comparatively across the board. So let's break that down. So what I have in front of me is three 1911 style pistols. And why I say style is because one of them is a 2011. And we'll get into that a little bit, but that's not really what we're after. We're after what breaks into the higher end market of pistols when you start talking prices that are over two and three thousand dollars what are you getting so we're going to start off with a this is a remington rand war ii issue 1911. this is a camber custom shop uh, Raptor 2 chambered in 45 obviously the Remington Rand is chambered in 45 and then we have a beautiful example of a Nighthawk Customs Nighthawk Custom sorry so um, I haven't had these out of the safe in a little while just because of our ammo quote unquote shortage or crisis so I want to I wanted to get them out and do a video so what we're going to go off with first is the old school Remington Ram. And there's a reason that they call it mil spec. So part of that reason, there's obviously more reasons, but the main reason is if a armor had this thing apart and had them had 10 of them on a table, had them apart, was trying to get everything clean, blah, blah, blah. And then something happens to where these have to go back into the hands for officers and infantrymen, whatever, this, this needs to go to the lines of duty. That armor could take these and then throw them together and everything would coincide. So if you had a Colt apart or Remington Rand or Ithaca or a Singer Sower, blah, 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 you could throw it all in there together and it would still function. It would still run after swapping parts. So if you guys hear that, so that's a little, that's like the tolerances in the slide and the guide, uh, guide rod spring. You got a little, you got a little chatter in there. I've never had an issue with this thing failing to fire. So this thing was built to do one thing and it was meant to fire period. So we've got an old, uh, peened in rear sight with a fixed front. You're pretty much stuck with that. So this, you could, you know, you can knock it over one way or the other, but more or less, this is what you got. You got a robust piece of equipment, piece of history and that. So the fit and finish issues, which you can see on the back of this thing, though you can see gaps across there. Uh, these, these are obviously not really blended. You know, you have a standard size beaver tail safety comparatively to these, we'll get into that. So actually the front of this thing looks pretty fair. I know it's weird pointing a gun at you guys, but the fit and finish of this thing, it's meant to fire. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a, a step up and I know you guys, a lot of you guys are um, kind of against Kimbers, but I've had this one, this is the only one I've had. And this thing has not let me down at all. So whoever's on that bandwagon, just squash it. I don't need to hear it in the comments. I've heard it before, whatever. So this is roughly a $1,400, $1,500 pistol from a gun store off the shelf. So what you're getting is you're getting stainless frame slide, a pretty decent trigger. This one does have night sights and they are quote unquote adjustable by being able to peen them over back and forth. They're not uh, manually adjustable with a screwdriver. But that's, that's what you're getting right there. I mean, the quality of it, 
pretty cool. I do like the grips. I got a, uh, had this thing for a few years. I've put many rounds through it. Definitely not as much as my 2011, but we're gonna get there in a second. So what you guys see here is, you know, these, these fit and finishes, they're not hand-built guns. They are produced at a higher quality of factory machining. They're, these aren't hand fit, you know, uh, bushing to barrel, bushing to slide, the beaver tails. So you, there are rough edges, or not rough edges, but protruding, you can feel them by the hand and you can see them, you know, it's not a huge deal. And I didn't realize what I was getting when I got my Nighthawk. So the thing is, you are stepping away from just a firearm up to a level to you have a functional piece of artwork that runs extremely well. And when I started uh, with Nighthawk, we had talked for uh, quite a while and what I would be offering them and then what they would be um, you know, on board to help me out with. So we talked, uh, talked it over, and I went with the five inch president in a double stack frame. This is a absolutely gorgeous gun. Sorry guys, bad habit. So what you're getting when you get a Nighthawk or higher end pistol manufacturer or even gun manufacturer is you're getting into a functional piece of artwork. So you're talking about all these, you can see the lines obviously, but my hand, I can barely feel anything that's that's been blended, you know, and that's just because the surfaces have been hand polished, hand manipulated, the whole thing, the, look at the fitment on the barrel bushing. It's absolutely flawless. They took a little while to build this one several years ago, and I could not be more ecstatic, ecstatic with this gun. So I'm running a red fiber optic front because I run this shooting competition, and that's why I went with a double stack because I shoot three gun. And I went with a Bob Heine rear sight. It has two screws that lock down the rear sight as well as it being dovetailed in to the slide. I like that. I didn't really care to go into the adjustable rear sight because I believe once it's set up and the gun's trued, that's what you should shoot the gun to, not because of like, well, my eye is this or whatever. So you're getting a different animal with the kind of the same clothing. So with this, all the machining, this has a tri-cut slide on it with the uh, serrations and then it does, the slide has porting, but the barrel, I did not want a ported barrel because of the fact that I shoot in a limited class and they don't allow porting. So that's not a big issue to me. So all they're doing with that is taking a little weight out of the slide. And roughly, I probably have 25 plus thousand rounds to this pistol alone. And the only thing that we've done to it, and it wasn't even a have to, was change out the guide rod spring. Trigger's been the same since it left Nighthawk and was presented to me. But this thing is running a roughly a three pound trigger. I don't like anything really lighter than that for any gun, I know a lot of competition guys are running really light triggers in the one pound plus or minus there. To me, that's a little a little uh, sketchy just because you're getting into uh, negligent discharges once your heart rate gets up and blah, blah, blah over moving through transitions and multiple stages. You get your heart rate up, blah, blah, blah. And... that so we're gonna we'll just take a look at the back of the slide so i want to do a quick comparison of where the slide meets the frame sorry i know it's still weird but 
if you guys can see that, if it's focusing on that, I hope it is. You're just getting a different animal. So when it comes to pricing of these pistols, that, that's a huge key factor that people don't realize what goes into it and is being done to it to mm, negotiate that higher price. People say, well, I've got this and I've got that and it's never let me down. By all means, if you got a gun, it runs well and you're happy with it, take it out, shoot it, trust your life to it. We're just taking that extra step to focus on the details that get you into that higher realm. So when you have all those one-off gunsmiths that are touching and manipulating and filing and lapping and smoothing of these guns, it, it creates a whole different price point and attention to detail that goes into these. That's why they do bring a higher premium. So we're gonna leave it at that. And I hope that that clears some things up. And if you guys want to see some more, hit that like, subscribe button, and I would appreciate the follow. But there it is.